and hopefully start my video cam. Let's see. All right. There you go. Can you all see me? Like you can just like write on the text or something. <laughs> I will okay, Tris, you I'm I'm gonna unmute now some of the people that is like coming. Okay, Jason, welcome. Oscar, welcome. Trish, welcome. Jean, welcome. And Thomas, of course, because I mean, because of him is that it's possible to make this call. Yeah, thank you, Thomas. Really appreciate it. Oh, wow, the signal is so good. Like, it's much better than last week. It's better than Skype. It's better than our video call yesterday, Jason. Right? Yes, it is. Yes, <laughs> it's much clearer, not so jerky, yeah. It's good to see your work. Like, it looks like a lot of engineering behind you. Oh, no, no engineering, mate, no engineering. But, uh, yeah, okay. we do a fair bit of engineering, but not we're on to at the moment, so. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, it looks like... Um, run, run, I'm here now, but if I've got to run, then I'll, I'll run and we'll catch up again later, mate. So sure, sure, no problem, mate. Here we go. Yeah. Good to say hi. Definitely. See you later. Okay. Still okay. There. Okay, Trish. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> From Australia. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's a nice one there. Yes, Since we are like sharing blue robots. <laughs> it's a blue chip on this one. Uh huh. I really like that one. I mean, like, I think it will be a good participant for the contest, for the challenge. Yeah. Yeah. See, um, Jason knows blue too. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to put the new capacitor on to improve the servos uh, so they don't. Stop the Bluetooth. Okay, we're just giving some time for people to come. Like, uh, it seems like some people still haven't joined, but it's okay. We can do the call like this. Uh, yep. Just like give it like at least another five minutes, maybe. For people to start the plugin and and get everything worked. Wow, that's nice. So now you are controlling from from your like Android or oh, iPhone? What are you using? That's a startup. I would have to uh -huh. put it on. So let me. Ah, do okay, that. yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go do that. Got so many, I just check it. So it's okay. okay. I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah, he's just gone into. Um, you have to do a reset because it did not come off the Bluetooth. Uh huh. It's, oh, it's okay. Space. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. So maybe it got stuck in the code. Yeah, yeah. It does. That's why I need to put the capacitor soda that on. Uh huh. I'm pretty yeah. sure Jason will like it. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like to see it. Yeah. I'll just have All to right. Use. Welcome, Bruce. Welcome to Bruce. He just joined us. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Thomas, Thomas Chan, this is your actual, uh, it's got the uh, Thomas's uh, circuit board in this one. What's it the other one? Hang on. Oh, this the soundboard. Yeah, yeah, this is very good. He also sent me one. I think it's in this one. This one's oh. got it. I like that one more, yeah, like one. in yeah, black, yeah, you know. Yeah. That's nice. And the and the LED matrix I prefer when it's like below yeah. behind, you know. Yeah. It looks it more natural. Through. Oh, so cute. Oh, wow. Reverse. Yeah. What's it reverse? Perfect. So we've just been trying to get the M block to work with these. Right, um, right. This is M block, and we're just having trouble with the matrix. It's out of sequence with the code. So mm -hmm. I have to. Oh, it's also time. inverted. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So we got all the metrics, but they're slightly out of sequence. So when you put uh -huh. a code up for smile, we get frown. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but I remember somebody posted that problem, and they fixed it with a couple of lines of code that you have to add. Oh, do they? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> we yeah, can check. So, I can send you the link if I remember. It's like... Um, just a couple of lines of code and you just rotate it's very okay. simple you don't have to modify all the things but the problem is that i see that you have like numbers so the numbers will be also flipped so yeah they are not... i don't know why but they mm -hmm. are so I just gonna think it where am i i've gone i'll come off so you back on that's it yep okay yeah yeah, yeah. i'm here Okay, we have Hank as well from our like Czech club, very successful club. <laughs> she might have to leave soon, so just like I guess she only came to say hi. And maybe okay, you can. <laughs> That's, That's yours. Hello, Hanka. Hello, hi. If I... How's everything? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what which camp is doing. But we can hear you very clear. Now with this channel, it's very, very good. It's good, but the game is not so good. It's a little ah. <laughs> Okay, so have a nice meeting and see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. See you later. Enjoy. See you in some workshop or something. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, I think now we can start. Uh, we have also a cache. Welcome, a cache. And then um, I think uh, I think we can start. We already are like ten now, seven. Somebody quit already. Okay, so we are seven. And um, so what we what I wanted to do with this call is very simple. Uh, you guys already introduced themselves, and I think we already know each other even from the from the from the auto builder group so like uh, we can skip that part and and talk about that later or once you have something to say for sure you can introduce yourself again just to remind some people who you are and what are you doing with auto so like first of all i would like to share um my screen and talk about the um, the auto remix challenge which many people is question about so like can you all see my screen now I it's, hang on oh, it's gone. oh yeah I can see it yes yeah you're showing okay. your website or we can okay country. okay yeah so now we are in the blog of auto in one of the posts that is about the auto remix challenge yeah and just like to give a very quick uh, tour of how it's gonna be in, in case that many people is like wondering why so many rules and stuff. It's actually very simple. It's just that we really want to see uh, like good entries and also as a way of teaching people how to document their projects. So like it's a like all in one contest and what we are pushing is like 
people to put the robots in wiki factories so we keep a good maintenance of this project and all the robots are in the same place so people don't have to like oh where is the code for this oh it's in thingiverse no but why i code in thingiverse it should be in github and they're like oh what is github and then people is like no go to wiki factory and then like people is like no the 3d files are in thingiverse so it's a completely mess and and like wiki factory comes here as a solution all in one that you can have the files you can have a readme with the explanation. I think that now that we centralize all the content of photo, you kind of are familiar with it. So now we have this amazing contest, the Auto Remix Challenge. We have a first place winner. We have a DIY 3D printer, which is perfect for the um, for print one auto. You can see one head of auto here was printed, and it's very nice, very small. You can carry anywhere, and you just have to build it by yourself, but it's very simple. I mean, there's an instruction even for this printer and it's pretty nice. We were thinking actually to, this is actually a printer that I designed together with a with a friend in US and we were thinking to like launch it, but since now the 3D print world is like already overcrowded of many 3D printers, we just make this prototype and we think it would be a nice like price for people to have it. It's basically new, I mean, we didn't even uh, make more tests than this one and and the parts are very nice and it has very good uh, bearings and other details then the second place winner it will have a nice builder kit plus which is like the one with bluetooth you have the the metal gear motors you have sound sensors touch sensor and like it comes in this very nice box that you can carry away so like I'm sure you build the auto, it fits one auto here, and even more parts. So like you can use it for more stuff. It's a packaging that has a an additional use, you know? Then the third place winner is the Builder Kit Plus. What uh, make us start all of this is the basic auto, but it comes with the 3D printed parts, and uh, it has the plastic motors, but it's a very nice kit. I mean, it's the kit, the most popular kit, the one that everybody starts with. Then we have a nice bonus prize. So many people were thinking, oh, like, what is what is this bonus prize about? Well, first of all, the prize is the the best maker kit we have, which is the humanoid. It has six servo motors, MG90, which are with Metal Gear. It has a touch sensor, it has the Bluetooth, and it has the gyro, which is pretty cool thing that we are doing now, which is to add uh, three dimensions of the sensi of the sensors of auto. So like if you rotate auto, if you shake it, if you uh, move it in a different direction, then you can have different uh, interactions that are related with it, which is pretty cool. This one doesn't come with the three D print parts, but it's the bonus price. We think that it's a good bonus price to encourage people to three D print their humanoid or maybe use the parts for something completely different, like a different remix or stuff. The thing about this one is that we are really encouraging people to upload their projects fast so like they can get votes. This one is based on votes. Well, all of them, we are gonna take into account the votes that are here. So here is an album on Facebook that you might see where all the approved entries are being, uh, are, are ready for votes. So you can see, for example, you already have 40 votes, 40 likes. So likes are translated into votes for the teapot, 16 for the filament one, and then you have a Smarts, Quadruped, Punk, you have uh, the Ultimaker one, has like 20, then you have Bender, it has like 19. So like, we encourage people to also like vote, but like uh, it would be nice once you have your entry to share so you can get more votes and this, price is going to be merely about boats. So the one with the most boats is going to get this one. And then we have nice t-shirts. If we see some nice projects, we're going to give some nice t-shirts and other swag that we are like designing now. But for now, we have this nice t-shirt, which is the one that I'm wearing now, as you might seen before. And the flag, the flag we can change for the country of the, of the auto builder that win the, uh, the t-shirt. We can make it customized which is pretty nice. And then to enter, we make this remix template, which is in Wikifactory. You just have to copy, like you can just select all of these. And once you start a new project, you can just fill the blanks, you know? 
you fill the blanks, and then once you make sure you follow all these steps, you will be, uh, if everything is fine, you will come immediately to this folder. If something is missing, then we will let you know in the issue section. So for example, if I go here and I check my project, uh, for example, this one, and then this one, for example, is not complete for some reasons, then in the issues, you will see that missing documentations for the challenge. And that's basically like, okay, well, you are still on time to update, but like if you want to be in this folder and get the votes and actually participate, then you have to complete your entry. And that's basically what it is. Uh, we will have a um, deadline until 3rd of November. And um, this will be the criteria for the job. So we have technical excellence, which is like, like the design functionality, it should be a robot that works, like it can walk at least. Then you have creativity, which is very important too, and then the easiness of fabrication, which is connected to a uh, wiki factory because it's gonna be like, okay, if the, if the design is easy to 3D print, then it's gonna have more points as well, or any other type of fabrication, laser cut, even by hand. And then we have again the, the button for the Facebook album. We have very nice judges. So we have Christina from like, it's one of the co-founders of Wikifactory. They are completely supporting us 100% in this project and they really love the challenge idea. You have me. <laughs> and then we will have Colin Mayer actually. Maybe you have seen, he's like very popular in Element 14%. He's one of the hosts and he's like very smart guy into electronics. He knows a lot of his stuff. I met him personally in Austria and that's why I bring him to the team. I mean like, then we have Deary, which is like also a very smart guy. This guy is so smart that he's going to the MIT now and but he's gonna, um, he's gonna also help us decide what are the winners. I also met him in the Czech University in Prague and he has made like very advanced project it's like it's amazing but he's one of of auto lovers and he really liked the project and um and he's very excited to see what people is going to come with it we have some like media partners here and these are the official rules if you want to check which is basically the other stuff just like in a legal way and you can just click here and start submitting your new project so like now i'm gonna let you like, uh, I'm gonna pause the share, stop the share, and I'm gonna let you, like, uh, tell me any questions. You can either type it or, or just talk and tell me if you have any questions about this challenge. Camilla? Hi. Yes, now I can hear you. How many remixes can you put in? Unlimited. As many as you want. Do they have to be you very can. different or can they be the similar? They can be somehow similar. I mean, if you see, for example, um, you have this one which is with tracks. If you just change to other type of tracks, I think it, it counts as another entry. So like you can upload as many as you want. Uh, I think we have it here uh, also, yeah. So like it's somewhere here. Yeah, I think we put it here that you can put uh, as many as you want as long as they are qualifying. You know, like you just have to make sure that you have the the full documentation. Okay, here it is. There is no unlimited amount of the project entries. You can see also in the in the um, in the article. I'm gonna post a, a link here just for you to easily find it. And yeah, they can be pretty similar. I mean, they cannot be the same. For example, make bender in black color. That's that's basically the same. So like it has to be a substantial change. And if any question, I mean, we will we will check 
project by project. You can ask us, hey, does this count as another one? And we can we can decide together. We can even help you to like make sure that it counts like another entry. Mm -hmm. That uh, sorry, who who was question? It was Bruce, or oh Jason, that was Jason, right? Yes, sorry, mate. Yes, it's me. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, it's just that uh, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's perfect. Good question. Thank you. This has to be done by November. Uh, yes, so like uh, that's the deadline we have to uh, so the idea I think it's plenty enough time. The idea is that uh, you can upload the project now and that will be better because you will accumulate votes as I told you in the Facebook album and um, that will also help us uh, make sure that for example, some people it's afraid that if they upload the project somebody's gonna copy it. But like for sure, we are gonna have priority for the projects that were uploaded first. So that's another thing. You have until November. I mean, if you manage to upload the project the last day, great. The problem is like, I suggest to upload at least uh, in advance. If you already have something, you can start to put pictures because if there's any issue, then we won't give you extra time for fixing. Meanwhile, if you upload now, it's it's open for fixing. You can you can change it anytime until November. Okay. Any other question? Welcome Tiago and welcome Jordi. I, I didn't see you coming. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon here. <laughs> Good afternoon. It sounds like you just woke up. <laughs> yeah, but I'm ready to talk to you guys. So um, um, I had a question, but I you already answered the question. I mean, the to apply for the to submit the the remix, uh, you uh -huh. have to follow all the procedures for the documentation. So. I think it's a lot of things that you have to put there. Don't you think that it makes harder for people to apply for the, the challenge? Yeah, that's that's a very good question. Um, the thing is like we were evaluating with Wikifactory and uh, we have it to have like at least the main things. So we, we managed to see, actually it was gonna be more sections, but we find out that this are like the basics for, for a project. So like, but in any case, if you have any problem, if you think that is too much, that's why I'm encouraging people to upload. So like me, myself can help you. So like, if you see that something is missing, I can like teach you how to make the content for that. I mean, um, I don't know, you can tell me what is difficult about uh, the challenge and, and maybe we can discuss now, like if you think there, there are some points, we can be somehow flexible into that and still let it pass. Okay. So any other question? We can move to another point. Okay, uh, so it seems like now, now, for now it's fine. I was gonna, for example, show you an example. So I just upload um, this one yesterday. I guess that you might recognize. This is the Makey Robot, uh, aka Maker for Robot, you know? 
So it was a very interesting exercise I made for the Prague Metro Fair because um, I took basically the same principle of auto, the same leg movements for servos, and I just uh, bring it to life. And uh, I uploaded into Wikifactory. So uh, you can see an example. Uh, and I basically make all the comp uh, documentation in one afternoon. Like once I have the files, I can then share my screen again. And we can take it as an example. So like uh, now that you can see my screen, I go here and I upload it. And then it automatically appears here. So then, um, as a very simple example, I just put here the description. And then the most important, like in the documentation, is this README. Why? Because like, I mean, maybe you know your project, but somebody else that doesn't have any idea about it, it really needs to read something and, and understand what is the project about. So like then you have like, like a little background and inspiration and how it works. Right, this is like an introduction of, of how the project was conceived, which is pretty good because it's also a learning activity. Then you have like the part that is into the open source, which is the bill of materials, which is basically all the parts that is using. The fabrication, in case somebody wants to 3D print, then all the parameters are here. A little bit about the 3D design. If there's 3D design, if there's no 3D design, it's fine. You just don't put anything here. And maybe you can talk about your napkin sketches, for example. It's just to show a, a little bit of the process. Then you have the electronics and programming in case there's something different. But like what I, what I also think is very easy to document is because I just copied this from Auto because it's basically using the same code as Auto. So it's, that was pretty easy. The only thing that is missing for me is the assembly instructions, which is like the most complicated. But I will just take pictures of like every every part once it's been like assemble and I will put it here and just put it a small text. And I think that that will be pretty much it. And and that's all. And then this license, I just copy also from Moto. And this is an additional thing that we're doing in order to encourage the, the social media, you know? And then once you have that read me, you just have to load the files here. So for example, the only files that I'm actually modifying in this remix is the 3D print. So like you will find all the 3D print parts here. And you can have also a, like a 3D view. It says like it will take minutes, but well, you know that this has a 3D visualizer. And you don't need to add anything here really because if you already explain all the project in the readme, then that's pretty clear. Uh, I will post the, this link also in the chat so you guys can have a look. Okay. Any any other question? So is it is it clear for you, Tiago? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, it's clear now. Thank you. Um, okay. Well, if if any question, don't worry. I mean, like, uh, we don't want to to scare people with with the rules. It's just that we really want to like also encourage people to learn about documentation, and and why it's important for for open source because like uh, as you might think, yeah, we we all had troubles with uh, auto documentation, and now that we made it fine, we we want to keep it like that. You know. We want to really like keep it organized. Otherwise, it's gonna be very disorganized. Like in a moment, you are seeing like remixes of auto everywhere. That's pretty cool. But um, then it's very difficult to really assimilate that, and then it gets lost. And we don't want to lost all those creative ideas. And we want like to encourage that with with some nice prizes in this challenge. Okay. Um, I just yeah. have one more question. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, this is the uh, moment for all the questions. Okay, so it's a silly question, but um, I'm not very into the. No worries, no I, worries. I don't know. I'm, I don't know a lot about the Wiki Factory, so I just want to understand what is what is the Wiki Factory and why are you why you are using Wiki Factory to um, 
in the contest why do we have to upload following the rules and everything yeah i think it's, it's a very good question um i mean i will tell you a little bit of the story of why we move this little guy into wiki factory so like when i started this project three years ago i was just trying every platform i saw it was useful to upload the files as an open source project so first of all it was published in thingiverse as the 3d files and then i was like oh it's fine i can also upload uh, zip files here and that will work but then there were people trying to contribute and then it was very difficult then they were uploading all their other projects on somewhere else then we created github for the code which is supposed to be the best platform for it the problem is like none of us is an expert on github me myself i barely know how to like um fork stuff and and use other codes but but i mean github is like a very advanced platform for developers so like that and the like the people that we were targeting with auto which is people that is just learning to build a robot then that's not a good match then i i met a guy in in china which um he's actually from uk he told me about this project that i was starting in uk about documented open source project and then he introduced me to the people in wiki factory and i saw it as the perfect solution because you can have the best of all worlds you can have a code you can have 3d files you can have instructions all in one place and then you now they have a forum now they have invitations, you can add videos. And then we saw that we could add multiple projects and then they were in the same page. And um, we thought that it was the, the best the best thing. And uh, I got in, in a very like close uh, connection with the people in Wikifactory. And that's why we started to, okay, let's encourage this also to the community. So before it was me uploading all the projects and now it's like, okay, well, let people, Let's let's show them Wikifactory and why it's the great tool for product development. And then and people, and then we thought that it was the best uh, place to put uh, the contest and make everything connected there. Does it hold, solve your question, Tiago? Oh yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Any other question? Somebody else? If you want, you can come over here and plug in the phone. Okay. Um, oh, welcome, August and Kevin. From August from China and Kevin from Taiwan. From Sorry, Bruce, were you posting, you say something in the chat. It says plus one for the challenge and documentation, minus one for using Facebook. You mean like like the, the pictures? Huh? Okay, so if no more questions, then I will move to the to the other point, which was uh, so like in if in this call you have also questions about other things, this is the moment. Questions about auto, technically everything, and I would like to if if you can type meanwhile, like some uh, ideas of what to do this this call about in the future. So like for example, if next month you want to talk about Arduino, then let, let me know in the chat. Or if you want to talk about, I don't know, uh, 3D printing or like the contest again, uh, just let me know in the in the chat right there, and uh, just type ideas of what you would like to to be this call about. Maybe the auto builder class, maybe about um, workshops. I don't know any topic. Um, so that will be pretty much the two main things I wanted now to share developments so like this will be a very cool part which i think it could be for the calls 
because you as leaders and, and members of the community, I think that I should show you like what is happening like behind, you know, behind the scenes. So like I'm working in very exciting projects. One of them is an app. So as you might see, there's already some up this year. So I'm working in this nice app that, um, I don't know if you can see there, it's uh, compatible also with, this is Android, but you can use also with um, with iPhone, which is already an improvement from, from the previous one. But the cool thing is that we already fixed the interface. So like it, it tells you when to connect, right? I'm gonna skip that. And then it has a very simple uh, icons, no text at all. And it's gonna have multiple, um, like menus, so like you can navigate between the functions. And it's not gonna be only for, for this plus robot, but we also want to enable humanoid, maybe the wheels, and even future remixes that you guys will create, we will try to incorporate them in the app. So this is like, like the development of the year. We have been working since March, and hopefully it's gonna be like, uh, it's gonna solve all the problems we have with the other app. I know, I know how painful it was not to be able to connect to Bluetooth and all the issues. And that's why we were working. Uh, well, I had this idea from a long time ago. It's just that developing an app is very difficult. And I'm finally finding the partner for that. And he's helping us to really make this come true. Um, the other development, which is very, well, you saw already this one. So. Uh, I already published it online. Uh, maybe many of you have gone to Maker First, and the idea is that, like, I mean, it's for free. You guys grab the files, print it by yourself, go to a Maker Fair, and impress everybody in the Maker Fair because this was like total success in the Prague Maker Fair. We even won a prize for this, but like, I mean, you can also just the, the idea of this project is like it's open, and then every Maker Fair should have make it working and moving around, you know. And something like nobody of you knows, and it's pretty exciting. I have this auto. Many of you have been like doing like autos with eyes, and and I couldn't stay behind. You know, me as the creative auto really wanted to do. Actually, I was working on this since last year, but finally, finally, I managed to make the PCV that can have these very nice eyes that you're gonna see. So like, it's the normal auto. You know, but it doesn't have the ultrasound eyes. But what it has is like it has these nice eyes that they can move around, like you know, there's like looking for something, or like it, it also blinks. And uh, I want to add some emotions into this, and hopefully release it also to everybody. So this is a pretty exciting project. I hope to launch soon as well, if everything goes well. Now it has the basic code. And it took me a while, but now it's working. I want to add more expressions and maybe more reactions with Touch, or maybe I can hear suggestions of you, like what would be cool about this development. And uh, yeah, so there is blinking and stuff. Let me know if you think it's a cool project. Um, and then I, I can see how, how it can be better uh, shared into the community. And. Another one that I've been working for a while, I mean, also last year, but I just haven't managed to, to finish, is Auto with Wheels. I mean, it's something that Jason did, did before. I tried to do my own version with like, uh, I don't know if you can see, well, he has a driver and he used the same board as Auto. He has some very small, nice motors and even it can follow lines and uh, hopefully also want to launch. So a lot of, a lot of new autos, and and hopefully we will see more of them in the in the challenge. That's what we are waiting for you. The power of servos. So, like Trish, answering your question. Uh, so the Bluetooth app. It's gonna have. Uh, it's gonna use the VLE technology. So VLE technology is low power. So hopefully it's gonna reduce consumption a lot. So I think that you can. You you will be able to power much much easier. 
with this uh, with this Bluetooth. So the power just stabilizes. Um, stays the same. Sorry, say it again. Power stays the same. The power will stay the same. When ah, the power, the yeah. But like what is going to happen is that we are going to, um, I mean, it's going to consume less. And we are also going to work in a, in a new shield or something that can help to, to balance that power consumption. Yeah, because it does work with the Bluetooth, but it uh -huh. keeps dropping out. Um, I it see. does it with the biped one as well. So what what batteries are you using? You're using the um, uh, rechargeable using ones, right? I'm using 7.4 LiPo. Uh-huh. Um, Connected to bolt in, yeah. Uh, use a buck um, to bring it down to 4.8. Oh, OK, OK. Well, the, pro the problem where there is maybe the, um, the current. So like talking with Jason, Jason is an expert in this basically. Like it's better to use a 3.7 LiPo uh, and, yeah, and, raise and boost it to five because, because otherwise uh, it's better to boost than to regulate because regulate you lost energy in, in heat. But if you boost, you are just like increasing the consumption, you know? But but it goes with much more efficiency. Yeah, the amperage needs to go up on the boost, though. Uh, I tried one with a one amp, mm -hmm. which was a standard. Um, then I tried a two amp, and I had heat uh, oh. occurring in that circuit, and that was a three point four lipo. Okay, um, it would be nice if you post some videos or something and we'll start to like take it from the community. I think it would be very interesting to see why is that happening and we will try to help you to solve that. Yeah, yeah, both cases, no problem. <laughs> For example, I had this charger yesterday. I don't know if you can see. It's just a USB charger and, and I was connecting the battery and it hit it hit so much that it just make a spark there. So it's like these lipo batteries are kind of like tricky to handle. And uh you just have to be a little careful. I mean with the connectors I was just having a lot of trouble and it just you know, all in my finger. And uh we we will see. We are actually working in a in a new PCB, like if you can see here. That we want to put. Can you yeah. Yourself yeah. Off? Can you see it then? Oh wait. Uh, yeah. Swap over. Yeah. yeah. So you can see here. Yeah. We have a PCB. It's not complete because I just received it yesterday, actually. So like I have to wait for the components. But uh, hopefully, this PCB is going to help also with the power. And um, we are going to test that, of course, first before releasing to the community. But that's the idea. I mean, uh, it would be interesting if you can test also Thomas Chan, the, his, his board. I also have one, but I, I, I was just going to test it like maybe tomorrow. Uh, he said like the power is not a problem there. So maybe, maybe uh, we can learn from that. So is that is that uh, board working for you, the one from Thomas? Trish? Uh, yes, that one is this one, and it does it with the 3.4. So this one is the one uh -huh. we just saw the battery on. I've had a couple of problems with the driver not connecting, but that's probably okay. because of a Windows update. Uh huh. So at the moment, sleeping is, yeah, <laughs> there goes through his number. But I can't change it at the moment. The driver's not working, not connecting. Okay, okay. But we'll, I'll sort it out. I say it's to just to put the driver back on, which... But it, it's, it's working and... 
So this one doesn't have a, a power problem, right? No, no, this was uh, 3.4 lipo. Just mm -hmm. turn her off. So inside is the little lipo. Little Thomas is. Oh, nice. So that's all it is. And it works fine. Yeah, it's very small. It's good. Mm -hmm. So it's inside. Okay. Nothing in there now. Just this little battery. Yeah, yeah. I, I think with Jason, we were talking yesterday. He made this nice design that I was showing you here. And like, um, I mean, once we tested, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to work the same. Like 3.7 and then boost into 5. And then that will have the enough uh, voltage for Arduino. And then it's gonna have the current like two amps so that it can um, handle all of those servers. Does. I think both ways will be on. Uh huh. I typed in AMP and capitalized. This so one. I'm actually using rechargeable battery. Right, right, right. Uh, they're rechargeable, so high capacity, and they're good mm -hmm. for schools. We don't, but like etc. I mean, we don't capitalize. Understand? Because we can't use flippos in Actually, schools. Uh huh. It's not we have to use better. standard batteries or these type. But then, is that enough only for a normal auto? But with arms, it's not possible, right? Uh, no. Does it with arms as well. We do arms oh, as well okay. with this. But the kids have them. I they're out, you see. The only ones I keep here are my lipos. But uh, we do have them for kids. You see. So he does Oh arms. nice. Yeah, I think that that's a good option and and we can encourage people to to buy reusable batteries instead of alkaline. Yeah, the high capacity. So they do right. 2,000 milliamps at least. I use them in my camera, my DLSR camera. So, yeah, I do in auto or in my camera. <laughs> so auto right. camera now. I see. It works great. I think it's a good alternative. So like people just need to make sure to buy the right batteries because if they write, buy rechargeable cheap batteries, then it's not going to work. It won't work. No, you have to have right. the two high capacity, which you use in DS in cameras. So yeah. they, you know, DSL, the big cameras. Yeah, then you right, can right. use these. That's how I found out. I took them out of my camera, tried them and they worked. Oh, got it. Okay. And this goes with M block. This one does M block. Yeah, I, that's the one that you post in Wikifactory. It's pretty cool. Yes. With all the yep. tutorials and stuff. Thanks for that. Very nice. I'm pretty sure that people will appreciate that too. The kids like it, the children like it. Uh huh. So, yes. And then I go to put I a see. little metrics mouth on him. Ah, nice. Nice. Well, he and Pan is not here, but we have another exciting project, which is the Scratch Tree. We are going to update, um, like, we are trying to create our own blog software, but ideally, that is going to take for a while. But um, meanwhile, we are just going to keep using the extensions. But once that comes, I think we are going to have our own platform and we can upload all the all the examples and people just need to load them. I mean, it's going to be very easy for everybody to like to start or even to create new stuff. Yeah, I tried the kitten um, blocks. You know, oh, the, great. Um, couldn't connect, having trouble connecting to use them. The drive okay. is not working. I'm not sure. Do you know what it could be? 
Uh, you have to make sure to put it in nano. That's one thing. The second yeah. thing is the driver. The driver is also there. And then, um, and then you have to upload the firmware. So the it firmware. has, I can show you. I, 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 I'm gonna share my screen so that you can see it. So here is Kit and Block. You know, for the ones that doesn't know, it's like an alternative to Mblock now, but this one is much open. I personally know the people in Kitten, like Kittenbot, and they very nicely help us to create an extension in their own software. So it's, it's pretty much a normal scratch tree, right? And yes. then uh, you go here, and then you have Auto. So the first thing is go to Nano, right? I, they put, I don't know why, because we always use Nano, but in case that you have an Auto with, with Uno, Apparently, you can also use it, but we are using Nano. So then you see all the blocks here, very nice. You have even to calibrate, you have the movements, you have the gestures, and then you can change it here. Right? It's pretty much like, like a normal, um, it's a normal scratch. And it's, it's like envelope, but much nicer. So like you can put them this code now what you have to do is like i'm gonna connect an auto but i don't have maybe the same so just to show you um what does appear in the screen so i'm connecting an auto now you hear the sound connected and then i go here and then i search for the device and it's this one so it's the ch 340 because it's a clone and it's connected to this one well it's the only one that i have connected so i connect and then it's successful connected to auto right then i go to editor and then here upgrade firmware so you have to click there and then it already has the code and then automatically it's gonna send the code for you to control it with this and you can you i mean this part is gonna take a while and actually i have an error look because maybe it's because I have a Bluetooth here, actually. I will have to disconnect in this, in this, in this. Yeah. I, it's because I have a Bluetooth in this auto. So make sure that the, the Bluetooth is disconnected. So now I am going to connect again. Here, you can see. Go to editor. Again, upgrade firmware here. And um, then it's going to upload. We've got to put the important ones. are putting the ones back on the wall. Yeah. One here somewhere, one up there somewhere. Yeah, then the other end. So one, two, three. Okay, so now it's updated, you know? So then, uh, can you see it now? Okay. Yes. So now, um, if I if I just click here, you cannot see at the same time, but if I just click here, my auto is moving now, you know, because it's like oh, serial. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can also check here the code. You can switch to code. and uh, oh, But that part is right. not ready. Like this is just the manual one. So this is working mostly as a serial. So like you can click which you want to move, you know, like auto to do. And you can just check more of the buttons. Is it still beta? So like, sorry if not everything is working, but but uh, yeah, you just click on the on the blocks, and then it, that's what it happens immediately. Okay. So ideally, ideally we will have this part working completely. So like, you can just upload. But I think this is good to as a start just to play. You know, once you have the firmware, you just like play with this. And then you test the code immediately. You don't have to wait until code again. And uh, that's the cool thing. That's why we are really trying hard to, to make this happen. Now it got disconnected. So like, that's maybe why stop moving. And yeah, you just like play with the blocks. And hopefully we are gonna have more. So you have the mount here, but it's under development. So like the mount. You see, it's like grayish. 
and also the ultrasound and hopefully we will be able to interact with the sprites so like we can change it for auto and we can play with the sprites measure the sensors here uh, I think that would be pretty cool. It's just like, it's it's me and him, you know, and we are not uh, like software development and and it's gonna take a while, but uh, if you know anybody that wants to help us, that would be nice. So here's, I was connecting to this auto. So you're looking at CNC fabrication. Uh, this one, oh, this one is a uh, laser cut. Oh, laser cut, right. Mm -hmm. So this one, is that this where one takes. You want to go? Uh, no, it's just like another option, you know, like uh, like with all the autos, like I mean, you have the basic one, and it's gonna stay there, and we will keep updating it. You know, it's gonna always be uh, a a kit, you know, a, a robot that you can download and start. And then we were like, well, people might not have a 3D printer. So like maybe laser cut will be even faster in case that you want to do some workshops or something. And you need the autos like <laughs> same day, you know? So like this was somebody's remix actually, and we modified so like it's uh, easier to assemble. And, uh, but I mean, we will just keep doing more robots because I mean, why not, you know? One robot is not enough. You should have many, <laughs> many things, you know. No, I have more here. Yes, got yeah, and like sick robot. Yes. Yeah. And then this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the idea, you know. <laughs> A collection. Yeah. I don't have enough hands. Too many robots, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And this one has the leg hanging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I got original one. I don't. I don't have human right here. Otherwise, I will put. Oh, that's that looks pretty much like the first one. Yeah, pretty the original. Good. With the screws. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, we use it for our class. The very bottom. That's great. Uh, then it dresses oh, them up. <laughs> I, I, I like the, I like the, the wag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, excuse me. Uh, I'm Kevin. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, Kevin, so nice to yeah, see you. I, I, yeah, nice to see you. I'm <laughs> on this room. Okay, I, I just see you use the kit team block, but I can I I just switch on my kit uh, kit team block, but I can see the auto section uh, below yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. I yeah yeah I can see you. You just can, can you go? The, yeah. Can you go to hardware to the up part? Up. Yes. So there is in Chinese is written. Um, sorry, I couldn't read. Um, oh, okay, okay. Just, Kit? just come back to Kit and Blog. Yes. Yeah, co come back to the interface. Inter to to the open open again, Kit and Blog. This one. Uh, maybe that's an old version. Maybe you don't load the old version, so you have to update. But I can show you. Okay. Thank you. So like go go back to go back to your um to your kitten block. To the one that you showed me before. Can can you open it? That one? You already installed? Ah, because you were using the web browser. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So like uh, web browser, not, not for auto. I'm going to post the link. I'm going to post the link in the chat, um, but yeah.
Yeah, it's not gonna appear there, Kevin. Okay. So because okay. because you need to download. Yeah, I'm gonna send the link. Uh, give me one second. Okay. Thank you. So for everybody that is interested in this extension, you just have to follow this tutorial. Uh, how to install? I mean, it's it's just that you have to download and then you have to you have to make sure it's the latest version. So I'm okay. gonna share my screen once again, so like you okay, can see. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. So, um, so you are the auto builder leader of Taiwan, right? Yes, in I first okay. used this one because before I just use uh, a plug. I used to uh -huh. use the M plug to control my auto. Right, right, right. Uh, you can and still use M block. It's just that this one is gonna be the new one, uh, and and we now in beta, so you can give it a try. It will be very cool. Yeah, yeah, I think it is very cool. So, so I want to try. <laughs> it's, it's very similar. Yeah. So here, this is the link. So you can choose to download from Mac or Windows, but make uh. sure to install the driver. And you need to go here and try to find auto. If you don't see auto oh. again, that's because you have to um, you have to update the software. So it's very easy. Once you download, there's gonna be a rocket here, which is to update. Mine is in the latest version, so I cannot update, of course. But mine is 1.8.1. That's the version that I'm for sure is gonna work. Uh, oh, so you okay. have to upgrade to this one. So once you have it in 1.8.1, then you go here and you're gonna find auto. And even other, you can even just do nano, Arduino, and you can also program auto with this. Like you can just do like normal music and move the servos maybe. You can hear, you know, you, you for example, say the servo, the number two, and then you tell her to write to number two, and then you send the degrees, you know? And then you also do, well, here there are examples, which is different. So like you can try even with, with Servo Swift, for example, and then it's already ready. You just have to change the values here, uh, and we can check here how it is, and you can upload from here. So before we have the firmware here, that's because we put it for auto now, but this one, if you wanna play just Arduino, you can just just do it from here. And and then you can do the serial also communication, put the buzzer maybe. And yeah, just the basic stuff for now. But, um, but the idea is that we are gonna have more stuff uh, working here for auto. Just done these ones. You can play the melody and stuff. Okay. Glad that you okay, like so it. Uh, if will. there's any other question, you're welcome. Yeah, give a try. Okay, welcome to people that have a right here, like Cyrus and uh, Oscar. So welcome to you too. If you have any questions, maybe you skip everything we talk about, but it's okay. You can just like jump in into the conversation and ask any question about auto. Now we are just doing Q&A, you know, like if you wanna talk about what you're doing or you have any questions about anything related with robots or auto, just, just let us know. Uh, excuse me, I, I, I want to ask, uh, uh, give me a feedback. Can you show the app again? I see just in the, maybe five, ah, okay. eight, five minutes ago, you have shown the app in the, your mobile phone. Yeah, I'm gonna actually show the screens so that it's much easier to see. So, um, 
this is this is where we are developing all the user interface for the app. It's just a, a graphical showing, but but here you can see um, like all the screens of, of the app. It's been a lot of work. So once you open the app, the idea is that something like this is gonna appear. And then uh, we have the play. And then with the play, you have to connect to Bluetooth, etc. You have a little bit the credits. So I, you, you find the device, then you accept, then it's connected, then uh, it shows that it's connected. There's some videos for the instruction and then the play screen. So this, this is the current design. So you can imagine just swiping, you know, if you swipe this one, then you go to this, to this one, and then you go to different functions. Here we have the movements in this one here, basic movements. Then we have the sounds or like all the beeps that auto does. And here we have the gestures. And here in another one, we are just going to have maybe touch sensor, sound reaction. We are going to try voice recognition, which will be pretty good. But that one will take time for sure. And then we will have the ultrasound. So like you can, you can use the ultrasound to maybe detect obstacles, measure distance, whatever you want. And yeah. What we have some ideas with like instructions or how to how to build it, maybe even interact with other components. Uh, it's gonna be pretty pretty cool app, and we will let you know because we are gonna launch it in in Play Store in an and in Apple Store as well. So like everybody can have access to it. Thank you. It's so cool. So cool. <laughs> Thank you. Glad you like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Because I always use the Zoe. Zoe. The app. <laughs> so I, I, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's also a good one. But, uh, but yeah, you have to configure the Bluetooth. And then there are some stuff that we are going to implement in this app that uh, so it doesn't have which is for example now you can use it in an iphone like so we have you cannot use it in an iphone oh. okay yeah. or you can use tablets as well it's gonna be also compatible with different size of the screens so that's also pretty cool so what language is it being written in uh, it's called React Native, so like that's basically JavaScript. All it's right. it's really <laughs> complex. I mean, yeah. I can show you the code if you wanna like. It's <laughs> I, I mean I'm I'm learning, you know. <laughs> yeah, this I'm is, learning Java, but it's info, it's a lot, isn't it? Oh yeah. So like yeah, I you know it's it's pretty. Diff I am learning specifically for auto, so you can see here uh what is an app actually this is the app this is just a these are the commands that we send to auto you know and then all of these on the left is just folders and folders of javascript files so like oh. i mean we didn't start from scratch but um but uh this is what it looks an app apparently and uh, if, it, if it weren't because of the help of my friend i don't think i will have come here in five years, for example. Like this is this is really advanced programming, but good. I, I like also auto as a learning. I mean I am teaching but I'm also learning at the same time. <laughs> you can see here what is sent to the Bluetooth actually the M commands and the instructions. This part is actually quite simple. It's just like the instruction and then send the, send the code, you know, to the Bluetooth serial and, and that's what it happens. And then there's some keys for the beeps and 
and yeah and then of course the icons i am making them myself in uh in inkscape which is a uh, another open source um all of these tools are open source by the way which is pretty cool i mean kitten block is open source um this uh, app is open source then um this inkscape is open source which is where i create all the graphics for for auto I think now that my computer is getting slow with many things, but uh, yeah, is there? Okay. Any other question? How about the people that just join us? Oh, he and Pan just came. He missed all the. Should give him some welcome. Welcome, he and. Can you hear us? Yeah, uh, I can I cannot even see his microphone. He's probably just entering. But yeah, he can tell us more about what is really happening with the new scratch. Um app, the uh, the, the new scratch blocks that we are doing for auto, but um I think he still needs to develop some stuff and we are having some issues to like create in our own platform. That's why we just rely on the extension now. Okay. It's good. You've done a lot of yeah. work, Camillo. Yeah, well, tell me. And <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm dedicating, I'm, I'm dedicating a uh, full time to this. So maybe that's also a news for you guys. I mean, uh, a little bit of my story, I was, three years in China, well, five years in China, actually. I started uh, auto three years ago, and um, and I just quit my job last year to like dedicate full time to auto. I mean, it, it's a struggle. You might think like, oh, it's very easy, like uh, auto is so popular, <laughs> but but when, but when it comes to, to actually making a business and actually, we, we hope we can grow slowly. That's the idea, we don't wanna like, go crazy and like oh is this gonna be like like the ultimate startup no we just wanna make sure the community is is, is in the right position that everybody uh it's happy and things are working and that's the priority now and then we can see if we can make some living out of it and uh i'm pretty i'm pretty positive i think it's possible other people does it so why not us you know like many people that is not even engineers like me, they do it. And um, I'm like, well, let's try. Yes, um, in the school department, robots are being brought quite um, rapidly in schools. And uh -huh. uh, for instance, hang on. We're developing a robot uh -huh. From my storm, Lego. This is Lego. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mindstorms. I know it. Yeah, yeah. It's this everywhere. Mindstorms are everywhere. Yeah. This is one thousand dollars Australian. What really? That's a lot yes. of money. That's a lot of money, isn't it? <laughs> it you know, is. for this. So if you get a good price point in schools and a proper block um program right they love auto but you have to have a coding block light scratch right. three right right you will sell these like hot cakes to the schools <laughs> all over the world but that we pay in the thousand dollars the school paid one thousand yeah. dollars australian about 700 800 american wow this, this is one yeah, robot that's, that's that's quite a lot i think so, it, yeah it's a big opportunity we we really want to land it um then uh what you told me is like yeah i think uh, we should push more the the block programming then yes i think with schools you mm -hmm. have budgets there and um, they have in the school, in the private school I work with, there's 20 uh -huh. of these. Oh, wow. 
So can you that's see what I mean 20, by the value? Yeah. $20,000, yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. Yes, you know, so if you make an auto that works well and is got the uh, scratch three, like kitten, you will sell it. You know, I can sell you the kits tomorrow, but you need that coding. Okay, we need it tomorrow then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh. this one is very popular. Good. If I get the metrics working on it with M block, right. it's just going to sell. You know, right. I can, people want it in Australia. But um, just got to complete that ant block or kitten block would be good because it looks like scratch three. And then put mm -hmm. the matrix on it and you'll sell it. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's, um, you just give me the energy to just like push, push more the development of the software then. Yeah. You see kids will buy this and put it in the corner as a toy, but in schools, they will upgrade. So they upgrade 20, 30 units at times to 20, 30 robots. Oh, wow. Yeah. For every kid then. Yeah. You got 20 kids in the class. Uh huh. Also oh, they do it per class for like example, the technology class and then they buy 10, 20 for the year. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Private schools <laughs> got lots of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Interest. Even some public one. Sorry? Even some Trish? public schools also have good budget. Yeah, um, these kits yeah. would sell, you know. The private schools okay. would even have them. Um, you make them up, they'll buy them. But they'll like the kits as well. Right, right. But you have Somebody to have the code. Somebody was trying to call. Okay. I, I think somebody was trying to call. Sorry, maybe it was Kian or. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was me, Tiago. Ah, Tiago. Okay, okay. So, what's up? Are we allowed to uh, mention um, other um, products here? I just have a question for Trish. Uh huh. Is yes, sure. Is that the, the Lego robot, the Mindstorm? That's Mindstorm, yes. So we are entering RoboCup, which is a competition run all over the world. Are we, um, yeah, we have that. We have that one here too, but um, it's getting expensive each year. So um, were, were you saying that this, um, this, this robot is expensive for you there? Yes, we um, got a shot when we had budget 1000 and we run out by the time we brought the robot and the parts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, I could have brought with this one, I could have brought at least eight, but we have one robot, you know, for the competition because it's a specialized that's got a few extras mm -hmm. but we also got normal mind storms because uh -huh. mm -hmm. well, we just started using that one but uh last year you was you was the price was okay but this year it got higher it got more expensive and they are saying that for next year it's going to be even more expensive so we are looking Ooh. for um yeah so i thought you was um yeah, I didn't know that it was that expensive for you there too. I thought it was very cheap. I thought it was cheap, but <laughs> we well, pay when it lands in Australia, we pay at least twenty percent more than the rest of the world. Okay. So yeah, auto is a better option for us. Well, it's also I think it's it could be also like a different market, you know? Because um I think um I think what it is um, like this kind of modular pieces, I think is more focused for uh, really starting out. The problem with auto, what I see, if you wanna take the same school, is that uh, maybe 
the learning curve, it will be a little more difficult at the beginning. As you might experience, I mean, we are using real components. With Lego, you are using a toy, basically. Plastic parts only. And then the electronics uh, are enclosing. Super nice thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to say something, Trish? Uh, yeah, the kids' opinion is we've been doing Mindstorm and the programming, and they mm -hmm. turn around and said, can we do Otto next? <laughs> ah, okay. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. They find Otto more fun. Right. It is more so that's fun. Like it is more thing. fun. That's like a thing. Yeah, because with, with Lego, you are doing machines, you know? With with Otto, you are doing a robot that is actually a character, you know? It's, mm -hmm. it's like a creature, you know? It's not like a bunch of pieces together into a machine that has wheels. It's... It's it's also a bunch of pieces, but it walks and it has some uh, emotional impression once you see it. You know, it's yeah, it's they like to personalize. Right. They make so, people out of them. <laughs> right. right, right, right. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, thinking about bringing auto to schools, that makes me think that we need um, educational resources. For example, um. I don't know, maybe lesson plans for each year. Mm -hmm. That's so why I've been doing I completely agree. Uh, that's why, um, I mean, I think that the, the best initiative is what Trish is doing. Like, if you follow that, I mean, if we all follow that, I think we will be in the right path. Uh, I mean, thanks again, Trish. I mean, this, this type of content is what I always wanted to do. But as you can see, I'm very busy with other stuff that is like the basements for everything. I, I, I hope that once I have time, I can get involved in that as well. But that's why I, I, I want to, I also try to encourage all the community to like, uh, in the same way that we contribute to the code, to new remixes, how about we start to like contribute together in these courses, in the educational content, which is apparently the most important thing for this project. And um, we just leave it behind. We just leave it like on the side. And I mean, as Trish is confirming, it's what it can change auto of being in all the schools. So that would be, that would be great. If we can like, even, even if it's in different languages, I think we can manage to centralize that. I don't know, starting, even in Wikifactory or just sharing in the group, look, I make this workshop, I teach this and this, this is the PPT, and then we just make it fluid naturally, you know? I, I, I try to share some of like what I, what I do in the workshop, but uh, I, I, do, I don't see if people actually use it or, or, or nothing, so I, uh, maybe I, I kind of like fail on that, but I want to insist. I really want to insist in to create a very nice educational content that can show what actually you're learning with Otto. I mean, for now, it's very like you learn some skills and they are there, but we haven't really pushed. Look, you are learning creative solving. You are learning problem solving. You are learning uh, mechanical like... Uh, how the mechanical things work just by assembling, things like that. Yes, that's a part of it. We have a digital technology and we need to do a investigation generating producing. So the producing is making Otto. We can cover that and evaluating. Mm -hmm. Evaluating, collaborating and managing. So at the moment, we do Otto, and it's built by two children, students. And, yeah, and it's uses development and impact of technologies in people's lives. So, yeah, that's, I find the Otto seems to be easier for the students to explain what they think robots oh. are useful Good. for. 
uh, more right. so than the mines from Lego. Okay, that that sounds like a, a good a good start, I think. Like, what is a robot? And then Otto, it's very very simple to show everything that a robot has. And you have it in your hands. So you have the brain in, in, in your hands, you have the, the motors in your hands, you have the inputs, the ultrasound, the eyes, you have like all the basic stuff that a robot could technically have. That's right, the eyes oh. are important is the way Otto sees. Um, uh -huh. They can relate to very well. Right. And that a humanoid one even more so. I've used it with autism children. Oh, wow, good. So they seem to understand. More oh, so delighted. it would be good because I see that, um, I think now it makes sense to make this connection. Like um, Jean de Fatima, she's also working with kids with autism in Brazil. Uh, Jean, can you talk a little bit? It seems like you just raised your hand actually. I don't know if she can hear us now, but she in the Fatima, I, I think she's doing some research with actual uh, kids with autism, which is pretty interesting. And and it comes to like, you know, at the beginning, I wanted Otto to be a robot that kids with autism can relate with. I, I launched it online and it ended up being more into the maker world, but that's fine because that will help to like still get into uh, the original objective, which is was to like help uh, kids to really improve their social skills. Yeah, you could get Otto doing a smile, doing angry, so they can understand and relate to those expressions. Uh huh. Yeah. So when he smiles, they know it's a smile. You see. Right. So, right. And when he goes to sleep, they like that. They find it funny. Right. But he does this. Right, right, they can right. Hear him and they know he's he's asleep. And they Snoring. say, oh, yeah. "What's that? Sleep." <laughs> so yeah, then he, they count the numbers. They was like counting numbers, which are the right. Oh one. right. They count the numbers. We can even small. do the whole abecedary now. No, we just put all the letters there. Yes. So they understand. You know, the autism boy part. will come in and the first thing he wants is Otto. So he goes and plays with ah. Otto. And he has programmed it a little bit. And he's okay. nine, nine years, nine years old. Yeah. And he says, Otto so, is sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, in, that's incredible. Like, it would be good to document this somehow. I know that it's not easy with all the privacy regulations. But if we can do, I, I really want to go deeper in this topic because um, we tried actually. In China, we, we had some uh, tests with uh, kids with autism. The problem we had, and it, I think it was a mistake from our side, is that we tried the kid with autism to build it. And the building part was uh, frustrating for him. I mean, he was like 12 or 14 already. He was pretty big. And he had some issue, like a very little one with the connections. He was almost finished, which was like, and then he just ran away. And then we were like, oh no, but what happened, you know? And then, and then we stopped from there. But I think if, if, if we show Otto as it is and focus on the emotional reactions like you did, I think that's a lot of potential. And actually, I don't know what happened with Jean Fatima's sound, but like, I mean, she showed me some very ex excellent results. She goes to hospitals even with Otto, and then the kids are very happy, and and, the, and even the nurses are like, like, yeah, bring more Otto, so like we can make uh, these kids interact with this robot and make them more happy. And she wants to incorporate some like sound, you know, like to make Otto talk, so like he can even have some uh, uh, close relationship to the kids and just talk through the robot, you know? Yeah, that would be good. It's a still learning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, a little, it's not that easy, but I think it's a good idea.
Uh, so Jane, I, I don't know, Jane is there, but like I hear just other people talking there. So I'm not sure yeah. if if she hear all the stuff. In in any case, we can do, as she said that I can speak now, she's in the classroom. Thanks for this participation. I listen all, very good. So like maybe later you girls can connect and just like take it from here. I think that would be a great thing to do. I don't know why it's locked. So it's back to front. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Anybody else wants to add something else? I think that we covered everything. And please don't forget to put in the comments like what would you like to to be this calls about in the next month. Uh, if you want any topic to be covered, so like I can prepare in advance. Then please, then please just post here in the chat or later in the group, uh, whatever you want, or then you contact me and then you tell me. Uh, and then, uh, or if you want to tell me now, you can tell me now as well. So like, and then, uh, so welcome to the Auto Remix Challenge. Uh, I will remember that I will help you if any questions as well. And it was nice to talk with to all of you. Hope that you like it. I think that finally we managed to do a very good call this time. Uh, thanks for Thomas for letting us like use his uh, Zoom like chat, uh, a video call system, and then um, see you next month. Then, bye. <laughs> I, I do have a suggestion for our next meeting. Oh, okay, okay. Say it before we close this. <laughs> okay, so um. Maybe we can uh, we can uh, we can talk about how I'm taking get, note how to get started with auto. We all know how to do it, but now that we are uh, leaders of our countries, we have to teach other people. And if you want to ask uh -huh. all some um, some some standards, maybe it would be great it would be great to have um, you know all the topics that you want us to cover. And the way we want, the way you want us to do it, so that we, you know, you know what we are doing, you know that you have a standard, a good standard, not to do it just like randomly. Yeah, yeah. So maybe, yeah, like for 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 example, um, I'm starting I think, to. I think it's good. Yeah, I'm, I think it's good. Okay, yeah, that's my. Suggestion. Thank you so for. All what the, are you doing, I'm for example? Have you done? So what are you doing, for example, um, Thiago, like for the workshops? We are starting to promote and uh, talk about more to, about, about auto here. We are talking more about auto here. So, um, and many people don't know how to get started with auto. So sometimes they get confused when they go online and they go on the website and they have to find the, all the 3D files and they don't know how to Code. I know everything's there. Everything it's pretty clear for us, but many people get mm -hmm. so maybe if we as leaders have um, something like a guide in our language that you know, that yeah. we are good for, maybe that would be very helpful. So to, to you know to get people to get really connected to what to not just go they just go there. Oh, that's difficult for me to find the files. So I'm gonna give up here. So. Okay, that's a good uh, suggestion. I will try to cover that in the next one then. And like, okay. um, uh, I think I will be a little flexible of what it has to be done. I mean, maybe with the contest, we were, we are quite strict on what you have to do. But mm -hmm. with workshops, because it's also a learning for me, I, I can tell you now what I do. So since I started the very first workshop, I just bring the kids you know people have no idea how to build a robot i have this ppt that i uploaded into drive and you start to use i explained in what is a robot why a robot's important uh, i also have a video of the call that, uh, that i show you sent to you up about the, this conference i made and then once they have like basic understanding what is a robot what is auto about let's just build it but like this presentation is like five minutes only you know you have to like go directly into hands-on. So then, uh, then we start to open the kits and we will like take the manuals. 
So I, I print them uh, at least per groups, you know? So like they have them like in their hands, then they use the manuals, they guide, and I just go around the table, you know, checking if they are doing the, the right thing and solving any problem. Then it's just a matter of like going around. It's a very exhausting thing to do workshops, but it's at, at the same time, it's very fun. You just go around, then some auto is having like a tweaker leg, then you explain them how to calibrate, how to center the servos, and the batteries, for example, are not connecting, so then we check the board, and then, well, not many problems happen, but I'm just giving you an example of what you feel face, you know, and then people make the robot and is working in like uh, 60 minutes, maybe maximum one and a half hour, let's say, doing it slowly, and then you have like a bunch of robots, you take a picture and, and it's amazing. Now, this is one workshop, and this is what I have been doing with new people. Many people have told me like, oh, it will, this would be nice if you make it extended. So like another workshop that I made one time was like, okay, so in the next workshop we do coding. And then we start just like M-Block, you know, let's do M-Block and then we start to program auto with M-Block and then they're like, okay, now you can see all the movements of, of, of auto, let's try this one. Oh, this one is fun, let's try the another one. How about we add some sound? And then you just play. Basically, it's just playing with them block. And that can be a whole uh, a whole hour, you know, just like playing. And if you want to explore like for a more advanced users, you just open the Arduino and then you show them, at least to show them, look, but actually the code is like this. And maybe you could learn about that. And then from there, you can just like make as many workshops about Arduino as you want. But then not to make it too extensive, then I, I want to generalize more the workshops. And one that I have been in, uh, thinking for a long time is to teach about 3D printing. So like 3D printing, okay, let's let's try to make some 3D printable accessories for auto. How, how about that? And then we start to teach 3D modeling, open Tinkercad, and then start to see how we can make some cool hats or things to put on auto. And that will be another workshop, you know, just teach basic of 3D modeling, geometry, basic solids, merge, subtract, uh, modifiers, how to put things in a 3D in a 3D space. I mean, this one can be like even a whole class, you know. I mean, in my university, I I had three classes about um, 3D modeling, and that's like about two years, you know, just learning 3D modeling, and um. And then uh, from that, the ultimate workshop that I was thinking, and I want to like, also maybe it's a good suggestion what you said, maybe to put this as a something a standard, but I don't want to take it as a standard. I want to take it like, like you know, this, this, is, this is what we do. Uh, for leaders, I think it will be good to follow, but I don't want to put a, a lock on that or like restriction. Like I will actually like to see what you guys propose to do, you know? So like, uh, for example, you were telling me what you were doing and maybe we can learn from that as well. Right, Tiago? Things you are oh, mute. Yeah, yeah. Mute. thank you very much, Ed. That, that was great, yeah. All right, so how are things going in Brazil now? So um, I know that Gianni, Gianni de Fatima is doing some work down there because uh -huh. he's up southwest and I'm up uh -huh. north. And, That's uh, great that you are in different cities, yeah. Yeah, so maybe we will be able to cover the whole country. But um, yeah. What we are doing, yeah, after you launched the, the, the Auto Builders Club leader thing, I think that was a great idea because now more people want to become auto leaders and uh right. so we have one here up north that is me and Gianni de Fatima in the southwest and I have other friends who are always you know joining um technology events and uh so I tell them about the auto leaders club and everything club leaders and uh so now more people are interested in becoming you know, auto builders and uh, uh -huh. Tomorrow, 
they uh, they will be uh, announcing all the the workshops that will be happening in a very big event here in the country and I submitted a lot of projects so hopefully you're gonna be able to make that too and uh, oh yeah fingers crossed for tomorrow yeah we are very excited so we are gonna be uh, doing if we pass we're gonna be doing a presentation about auto also a workshop so yeah so more people will know about auto if if we do that for the first time in this event, this event happens around the country, so we are going to be able to take auto with us uh, to other states too. So, and so I think what's the name of the event? The one I mentioned to you, the campus party. The campus party. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Party. It looks it looks like a lot of fun. I want to be in one of it those. It is a lot of fun, and uh, auto has everything to do with the event because they usually talk about makers they talk about do yourself stuff oh, uh, 3D, yeah like 3d printers robots robots competition coding hacking um steam stem yeah so it's it's hopefully they're gonna like it because in the description of the project when i submitted at the end of the month last month i mentioned mm -hmm. everything so everything that auto covers so hopefully that's great yeah 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 we are really excited here to, to to know the results tomorrow oh it's tomorrow so tell us tomorrow if you pass or and once you pass and because for sure you're gonna pass so like just like post like the good news and and keep us updated in the event if you can do like like a little video or like some pictures that would be great as well definitely i'm wearing my auto t-shirt right now <laughs> great you can activate your video if you want we also oh, look it is, it, it, it is uh, <laughs> i guess i guess i can see it so this is the one that we designed this year we just had the auto builder award and like i mean once we find out how to make more of them i mean hopefully we will start to send to the leaders at least and and well first of all to the to the people for the that part that is going to be in the challenge the bonus prices but okay. yeah like, hopefully the, the design is also online so if some of you guys just want to go to some local store and print it by your own you can just grab the files and do it okay just two quick questions right um, um regarding the t-shirts i didn't find the files i i have the pictures on the drive google uh -huh. drive but i don't have the files to print and go to the you know local store and okay well let me know I I put the PDFs uh, or the pin I don't I don't remember uh, if anything just just ask me and I and we figure out what do you need for your local store and okay so, we can you know, we can put yeah, the Brazil flag here you know okay. just uh -huh, put sure. it here and then I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Awesome. So, in the last question was um, uh, regarding the the eyes of the auto that you are holding there. No, it's yeah. not going to work as a. It is pretty cool, but it's not going to work as a ultrasound sensor. Will is it going to? Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, it's like one thing for another, you know. So this one is gonna fall and bump into things all the time. <laughs> okay. But it's like, really, I don't know. Really we great. we we will see. We will see if we can add other things that can help to like compensate a little bit that sensor part. So maybe not ultrasound, but maybe more touch sensors around yeah. or like. Can I lie? Right. Can I? Um, in our um, five sensors, ultrasound sonic is used. So we actually use ultrasonic for uh, measuring. So this one, the ultrasonic, oh. this one, we actually have it in our tutorials for measuring and, mm -hmm. you know, avoid and sensing a rescue can. That's what we use it for. So in our area, we have to use the ultrasonic. You know, it's a useful sensor. Got it. Yeah, I understand your point. So, uh, I mean, but uh, 
just to like clarify, I mean, this auto is just going to be an additional auto. It's not that we are going to delete the ultrasound from auto, no, never. I mean, the ultrasound is like emblematic, you know, having like uh, the face of auto, you will always remember the ultrasound. Um, yeah, I mean, we will keep it for for sure. This is just going to be maybe an special edition. I think that's what I was thinking. Just a, like a limited edition of Otto uh, to see if people like it, you know, because when we de we made um we made this pool like two years ago about like what do you think would be cool Otto to have? And the first thing it was LED eyes. So we were like, oh really, but that will replace the ultrasound. Okay, let's try. And then since then I have been working in this version. And um, and no, but like, I, I don't know. I mean, what can you do? Maybe can you put the ultrasound on the back? I don't know. But like, uh, we cannot like really have both at the same time. So, so we decide that it's just gonna be an extra extra auto that maybe some people will prefer, some will not. But it's fine. That's why you have more options. Okay. So, Tiago, that answers your question? It does, yes. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, this guy is not here, the uh, Cero the, from Malta. I mean, he's doing some very cool, I, I, maybe you saw that, like the latest updates in the in the group is like this very cute auto with, with some LED on the face. So it was kind of like coincidence that all of us are working in LED on the eyes. Maybe it's just like a little trend, but uh, uh, I think it's it's pretty cool to explore. I mean, we are here to like try and make mistakes and learn, you know? So it's, it's something that is, I have learned a lot with this. I hope that more people can learn. And uh, we were just gonna have a new member of the family. I'm looking for names, by the way. So like, if you have ideas of the name, Please also share it there. What name should we put to it? <laughs> All right. So, like, once again, goodbye. Have a have a good uh, day, evening, night, wherever you are. <laughs> um, and see you in the community. See you next month. Uh, same time, same day. Uh, the first Thursday of the month. And uh, I will try then to talk more about workshops since uh, Tiago suggested. But if you have another suggestions, then just let me know. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>